Hi, I'm Chris and these are two scratch built 124th scale HDMLs. Uh, this is the first HDML that I built. Um, fiberglass all, scratch built with using fittings from precision controls. A lot was learnt on building this model. It was too heavy and never really liked it that much. So I then kept it for a few years and sold it on to Rob Fowler. Um, in its recent upgrade, radio wise, it had uh, 2.4 radio in fitted, and in now the motors are running on a mixer, hence the two speed controllers. Uh, moved over to NICAB uh, little metal eye drive batteries, and there's also a Sony uh, involved now, and this is what this speaker is, little mini speaker for the sound unit. There is plans afoot to put uh, water through the, the through it in, in the in the near future that will be another little interesting project to do because we've got the channels available now through the 2.4 gig radio and the original motor setup prop shafts and servo were the original ones that was put in when it was built oh, yeah. so it's still going yeah 20 something years old and still going uh, this is the second HDML that I built learnt a lot from the previous one Again, fiberglass hull, and instead of buying fittings, I made my own. Um, I used to cast rubber mould and cast them. Uh, part fiberglass superstructure, but the rest of it then is scratch built. Uh, at the moment, it's got its VE Day flags on, which was meant for the VE Day celebrations, but as we all know, due to COVID 19, it never happened. Same basic setup, two uh, 500 motors. Uh, 6 volt battery, electronic speed controller, 27 meg, old school but it works and that's how it's been for the last 20 years and it sails perfectly so if it ain't broke don't fix it. I'll leave